Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and this is Free PBX 101 version 15, part 30. 30, can you believe it? Uh, we're gonna be talking about call flow control. In our last video, we talked about how to divert calls from one place or another. So for instance, divert calls to our open destination, and then after hours, divert calls to our after hours destination, right? So we did that diverting of calls based on time. So during business hours or if there was a holiday or something like that, that's our time conditions video. There is another way to shift calls one direction or another, and that's called call flow control. Now call flow control is actually really, really useful and it can be used in conjunction with the time conditions that we already talked about. So let's take a quick look at our diagram and see where we're using CFCs. So calls come into this phone number. The first thing they do is hit a CFC. The, and the reason that we're using this CFC, this call flow control, is in case of inclement weather. So if you're a school, right, and you have a snowstorm and kids are going to be uh, at home for the day and you wanna sort of put a special announcement out about the school closure, this would be a good place to use a CFC because it's not an automated thing. It's something that someone would have to manually trigger in order to put the phone system in that mode and divert calls down that track. I kind of think of it as like, you know, a train going down a track and then you have a switch somewhere that puts that train on track A or track B depending on which way it's switched. That's exactly what a call flow control is used for. You can also use call flow control for manual day night mode. So for something where the first person in in the morning toggles the call flow control on so that calls start flowing in, and then the last person to leave at night toggles the call flow control off so that calls start flowing over to the after hours destination. That's possible though, I don't typically recommend that to my customers just because if you're relying on a human to make that switch every day or twice a day, you're gonna mess up sometimes, right? So I like to do those types of switches in an automated fashion, but I do like CFCs for things like this where we need to you know, shift calls one direction or another for whatever reason. I even had a customer one time that used CFCs for team meetings. So every day at noon, they would have a team meeting where the whole company would get together, have a meeting, and then you know, when it finished, uh, they would all go back to work and they wanted a CFC for that. So as soon as they would go into the team meeting, the receptionist would hit a button on the phone, it would divert all calls to a greeting that said, you know, we're unavailable right now, we'll be back, whatever. And then when they were done with the team meeting, they hit that button again, and calls start flowing normally once again. So let's go ahead and set up our CFC. This one's gonna be for weather. Uh, when the CFC is in normal mode, calls just flow directly through the CFC, right? So they just go through, it's in normal mode, we're going straight to our holiday time conditions. When we put it into override mode, that means that we've got a bad weather incident and we're redirecting calls over here to our weather announcement, okay? So very simple, let's go ahead and do that now. From the dashboard of Free PBX, we wanna to go to Applications, Call Flow Control, and we're gonna click Add to add a new call flow control Feature index is zero. You can have up to 99 call flow controls in free PBX, and that's important because the feature code to toggle call flow control is star 28, and then the feature code index, right? So the first one's gonna be star 280, then star 281, then star 2836, right? So on and on down the line, all the way up to star 2899. Uh, I've never had anyone actually use 99 call flow controls, but I have had customers that need, you know, a small handful of them. So we're gonna call this weather. Current mode, we're just gonna say it's normal mode, so not override mode, but normal mode. You can optionally add recordings that get played for normal mode or override mode. We're just gonna handle that with announcements. So if you wanted to re-record the weather system recording, there's a separate feature code for that, uh, which we covered in an earlier video. You can put in an optional password. Again, this is a thing where if someone has the code, star 280, uh, they can toggle your call flow control 
at any time, right? So if you want to prevent your users from accidentally figuring out that code, you can put a password on it. So when we're flowing through normally, let's take a look at our thing here. When we're flowing through normally, we're going to time conditions holidays. So let's set that as the destination, time conditions holidays. And then when we're in override mode, we're going to announcements weather closure. So we're gonna say submit and apply config. Okay, and we can see our feature code is star 280. Uh, let's just try dialing it from the phone, see what happens. So star 280. Feature code zero activated. So feature code zero activated, and if we refresh here, we can see we are in night mode, right? So the day night mode is a little bit misleading. It just means normal mode or override mode. But basically what this means is that we're in this red state, which means calls are going to our weather closure. Let's turn it back off again. Feature code zero deactivated. All right, and so now we've deactivated that feature code. And let's refresh one more time and we're back in normal call flow mode. So we've set up this call flow control and it's really the first option when, it's the first thing that users are gonna hit when they dial in into our inbound route. But we actually have not enabled it yet. So let's go to our inbound route. Uh, we're gonna talk more in depth about inbound routes in the next video. But for now, we're just gonna edit our default inbound route and we're gonna set the destination to Call flow control weather and submit and apply config. And as soon as this apply config finishes, we can simulate an inbound call by dialing 7777. So that's what we're gonna do to test this thing. In normal mode, what we should hear is it's gonna pass right through the CFC. It's not a holiday, so it's gonna pass right through there. And we are during business hours right now. so. I should hear my main IVR greeting. And then when we toggle it into override mode, I should hear my weather announcement, which then dumps into the general voicemail box. Okay, so that just finished. Let's try it, 7777. And send. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. Okay, so that's our main IVR, perfect. Let's toggle the flow, call flow control, star 280. Feature code zero, activated. There, we've activated feature code zero. Let's dial 7777 again. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. We are currently closed due to weather. Please closed due to weather. Okay, and then please leave a message which is gonna dump into the general voicemail box. Okay, so call flow control is working, right? And right now we're in override mode. Let's go ahead and take it out of that. Star 280 send. Feature code zero deactivated. And of course for our receptionists and whomever's gonna be toggling this call flow control, we wanna make their life very easy, right? So in order to do that, let's add call flow control as a button on the phone. So we're gonna say settings, clearly devices, and we're going to edit our 270 model layout. We're gonna click on line keys, and then we're gonna scroll down to find the first available line key, which is line key six. And we're gonna say it's a BLF, which is busy lamp field. We're gonna call this weather. And then for the value, we're gonna say star 280. Now, since this is a BLF, that means the button on the phone will be green when we're in normal mode and it'll be red when we're in override mode. So let's click submit. We should see the phone immediately provision. There it is, provisioning. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it is provisioning. And now we have a button right up here. Notice that it, the light is currently green. So let's call in 7777. for calling Dunder Mifflin. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any So that is our main IVR. Let's hit the button. Feature code zero activated. And notice the button turned red, right? 
Let's dial in again, 7777, send. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. We are currently closed due to weather. All right, so closed for weather. Let's hit the button again. Feature code zero, deactivated. There we go, deactivated. Let's call in again. Thank you for calling Dunder Mifflin. If you know your party's extension. And we're back to normal. All right, so that's it for call flow control. Really, really useful to use uh, CFCs wherever you need to. Uh, again, all customers are different, right? So your own needs, you might have a need for a call flow control in different places, right? But at least you know that it's just a way to divert calls one way or another based on a feature code. Right, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions for the rest of this free PBX series. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.